take the initial touch. Here's Vicenza's low driving shot. Hits off the back post. Onks' header goes wide left. A great shot right there from Vicenza, but unfortunately hits Larson off with post. lots of time. Larson into the box. There's a touch by Losco. That one off the top crossbar. Staten's header goes over the bar. Oh, and an incredible that last little bit to put in the back of the net. Here's Hutton on the ball, trying to create one of those opportunities for Youngstown State. Now on Bombila. There's the shot. That one spines the back of the net from Kyler Lum. She gets her second goal of the 2016 season with a rifle from outside the box. Yeah, and we see, we've see we been seeing this build up over the last 10 minutes now. Duquesne with a few chances here. We thought they were going to score. On the other end, the last little chip by Ambambila to the inside to try and chip it in the goal. And this we see her on the ball a lot today. It's just a nice little layoff. Great dump pass from Ambambila. And there's, there's some good things on the offensive side. She sends it into O'Connor once again who gets double teamed. Now Losco back on the ball. I think we might have just gotten a PK. It's at least going to be a foul against Jefferson. Clock is going to stop. I believe we have a penalty kick. And it looks like Casey Onks is going to be the one taking wow. it. Onks did not take any, any penalty kicks a year ago. But here it goes to the left, and that one finds the back of the net. Not a perfect shot from Casey Onks, but it does its job, and it ties the game. Well, the, the play leading up to that goal beforehand was just good offense on Duquesne's part. Abby Losco, we saw it started with her, and I can't, I can't remember if that was more likely to send extra players in. Here's Lehman gets a header on it. She had a clean look at the goal, but that one hits off the top of her head and goes over the crossbar. So 2.23 to play. It's going to be Youngstown State or possession. Or just gone over the bar or it's been on target. So they've taken their shots very carefully, especially from Lum. Here's Lum. She takes a, a far shot that t challenges Murphy. Murphy had to dive to make that save, and she'll dive low to stop another one. So I believe that will be two more saves added to the total for Murphy. And you guys you guys come away with, with the draw today, but you guys have Longwood uh, on, on next Friday. So... What's the next step going forward for the next like you know, a few days for you guys? We've, we, we have to get better in the final third. We have to be more ruthless in front of goal. Um, you know, uh, to have one goal today and have it be a penalty kick, uh, is uh, it's not good enough. So we're going to have to get a lot better with our finishing. We're going to have to get a, lot, get, get a lot better in the final third uh, in a very short period of time because right now it's not good enough. Well, good luck, Coach, and we'll see you on Friday. All right. Thanks to Matt Fogel and Coach Alvine for taking the time to speak after the game about tonight's game. Not surprising.